tackle. Second down and 31. Coming in, including Andre Collins. O'Donnell gets away from it and gets the pass loose, and it's complete to Green. The tight end found the seam, and now, for the first time, the Steelers get into Redskin territory and pick up 29 yards on the play. It'll be third and short in the hurry-up offense. As we get close to a minute to go, and O'Donnell will stop the clock, but he stops it on third down with 109 to go. And it'll be fourth down, I believe. He what? spiked it on third down. <laughs> I think O'Donnell thought they had the first down. Or for some reason, he thought it was only second down. So it is now fourth down, and the Steelers are going to have to go for it with two yards to go for the first. Well, and that obviously puts them at risk if they don't pick up the first down. Still plenty of time on the clock for the Redskins to come back and put points on the board. A rookie quarterback, actually a second-year quarterback, playing for the first time this year, making a critical mistake in this two-minute drill. And the Steelers will use up another timeout. Crowd not pleased with a lack of alertness. And this is a young team. Some of it is understandable, others not. And the Steelers have one timeout remaining. Two coming up. They have been successful on three of eight tries on fourth down this year. 17 to nothing to score. And if the Redskins stop them here, they've got great field position in all their timeouts. So here's the fourth down play. And a fumble, and the Redskins have recovered, and Jumpy Gathers lost it. In any event, it'll be Redskins' ball. It won't matter, as the official has been knocked out, and he is shaken up. We'll find out who he is. It'll be Redskins ball in any event, and the umpire is shaken up. Ed Fiffick, the veteran umpire in the National Football League, is shaken up.